The American Academy of Pediatrics today announced it is doubling the amount of vitamin D it recommends for infants, children, and adolescents to 400 international units a day. Now, doctors say that the double dose should begin even in the first few days of a baby's life. Studies have shown that vitamin D deficiency can cause serious and even certain kind of cancers, autoimmune diseases, and even diabetes. Here to tell us more about the importance of vitamin D for your child is pediatrician Dr. Tanya Altman. Welcome, Tanya. Thank you for having me. Well, vitamin D, I always thought was for more adults and even more for women. A lot of data coming out on prevention on breast cancer, very important for, for good bone health. But children, I didn't know children needed vitamin D. They do. Vitamin D deficiency in infants and toddlers can lead to rickets, a soft bone disease. And we know that vitamin D plays a very important role in also preventing osteoporosis later on in life. And there's been more recent evidence that suggests that proper amounts um, or about a vitamin D can decrease your risk of cancer, diabetes, and infections later on in life because of the importance we now know that it plays in the immune system. Okay, well let's, let's start with newborns. I'm an obstetrician, so d doesn't breast milk have everything it needs in it? I always thought that that was the best thing. How are we going to supplement children on top of breast milk? Well, breast mi milk is the ideal source for an infant. It does contain everything that an infant needs to grow and develop properly. And historically, infants and children receive their vitamin D through their skin. When they're outside in the sunlight, their skin makes vitamin D. But now, because we know that too much sun exposure can cause skin cancer later on in life, we're recommending that infants and children are not in the direct sunlight. And when they are outside running around and playing, they're covered up and that parents use sunscreen. So therefore, these infants are not getting enough vitamin D. So the American Academy of Pediatrics is now now recommending a vitamin D supplement for all breastfed infants and formula fed infants that are not taking 32 ounces of vitamin D. And this amount of vitamin D can be found in almost any infant vitamin that comes in a little dropper that you just squirt into their mouth right before they're about to feed and I gave it to both of my sons. And in addition with um, children over age one, older children and teenagers, they also need 400 international units of vitamin D a day. And the best source for them is through milk, dairy products, and other foods. But even in such cases, they may not be able to get the amount of vitamin D that they need. So a vitamin supplement is a good idea for them as well. Okay, Let, let's go back to the breastfeeding mothers, if, if we can. If a mother takes a higher dose of vitamin D, let's say a thousand international units, will that increase the amount that's in the breast milk so we don't have to supplement? Because I'll be honest, uh, putting a little dropper in the mouth, it sounds easy, but it's easy to forget and when somebody gets busy, isn't there another way of, of getting it to the baby? Well, it is very important for all moms, especially when they're breastfeeding, to take appropriate prenatal vitamins that include vitamin D. However, there still isn't enough vitamin D being transmitted to the infants through breast milk. So all breastfed babies should receive vitamin D supplementation beginning in the first few days of life. Okay. Now, uh, many children don't like milk. Uh, they don't like dairy products. Uh, how do we get it in, in to them? And should we be supplementing things that they do like? Uh, and I'm not saying junk food, but uh, cereals and other things, because we've been adding folic acid, because th that was an important thing. Shouldn't we just add more vitamin D in, in foods we know they're going to eat? Well, in light of these new recommendations and all of the research to the importance of vitamin D, I assume that companies will begin fortifying more children's cereals and other products with vitamin D. But dairy products, specifically milk, is really still the best form of vitamin D for children. And when infants are transitioned from breast milk or formula to whole milk, usually around one year of age, it's important for parents to encourage milk drinking in their children and to role model these good behaviors. We know that all healthy lifestyle behaviors are really learned early on in life. So it's important that the whole family gets involved and has a proper diet filled with plenty of dairy products, whole fresh fruits and vegetables, and healthy whole grains. Okay, and, and you brought up sun exposure, which I think is a, is a very good, good point. I, I just recently went to a lecture where uh, actually an endocrinologist said that we've gone overboard on this, that we should let children outside for 15 minutes in direct sunlight, specifically for this vitamin D issue. If nature can give it to us, wouldn't that be the best way to get it? 
Well, spending plenty of time outside running around and playing is so important for children, but we do know that direct sunlight can lead to skin cancer later on in life. The other thing is the amount of sun that you get depends on where you live, the pigment in your skin as well. So different amounts of people get different amounts of vitamin D from being out in the sun. So it's still important to supplement your infants, toddlers, older children, and teens with the appropriate amount of vitamin, vitamin D if they're not receiving it through milk, what they're drinking, and their foods. Okay. Now, you said that milk is fortified with vitamin D. After these recommendations, are they going to increase the amount of vitamin D uh, that dairy companies are going to be putting into the milk? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I think there's going to be a lot of um, new vitamin D supplementations coming down the pipeline, hopefully, and a lot of the products, healthy products that our children are normally consuming. Great. Dr. Altman, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Great.